Mark yourselves back to the channel, back for the next episode of War Hulu Road. Just a bit of clarity this week. We're only going to be doing one episode per day. Originally planning to do two episodes per day, but uh, I've just switched things up a bit. So season three will be finished very soon, going into next week. So do stick around for those. Today is episode 12 of season three. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying the videos. And if you're new, and leave a like as well. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this episode. And of course, spoilers ahead. Enjoy. So I've got to actually admit, this was one of my... this. I don't think I've ever <clears throat> been cringed more than I've ever had from a Waterloo Road episode. This could have been the weakest episode I've seen of Waterloo Road. A combination of Darren Dad trying to be creepy with Davina, trapping her inside his house. Um, yeah, it was just really weird. You know, Mika's attitude towards Tom for most of the episode, and then out of the blue, making it with Brett was like, okay, close absence, and not even it's like Tom has more of a more cares more about what Mika thinks about Davina than what Chloe thinks. Chloe he didn't even run it by Chloe would appear in sporadic scenes, and you'd be like, are you going to run it by both of them? And then when you get to the end of the episode, you know, Davina and Tom go for a walk, Mika and Brett go out for pizza, and Chloe's just like. They don't even show us. Like, where is she? You know? Um, and it's crazy. You know, all the storyline that happened with Chloe, Dante, Brett, and Mika. Dante, obviously, being with Zeline now, doesn't even appear often. And Chloe has gone down to not appearing. Um, Janice and Maxine haven't appeared in, like, three episodes now since the baby episode. Um, you know, a big episode for Rachel and her blackmailing friends, which I think is just a shit storyline in my opinion, and it's going to drag on massively because, I mean, I think the thing is as well, we're all just like, cool, this guy's trying to get the bill accepted um, to be part of the building process for the college, I think, I think that's what he's after. And obviously the woman he's working with, Tess, obviously knows Rachel for being called Amanda, or whatever that means, whatever, why I've, why she's called that. Is Rachel her real name? Is Amanda her real name? Is that a fake name? Um, yeah, it just didn't... <sighs> there was a certain element to this episode, I was just like, what is going on? She obviously isn't confiding with Eddie because she doesn't really know the facts that are fully going on at the moment. She's intrigued by the fact of why Bolton was picked. Bolton was... I went out of his way a bit too much to get a job that really isn't a job. Um, you have the debut of Michaela, who's another student that he's in, like Paul Bolton, Alicia, and Danielle's year. Um, and yeah, it was mainly to do with just Davina. You know, she hugged. She did. She didn't hug that Darren. She put her hands around him, and then Darren's dad went to Rachel and caused a far facade. It called it. It caused an issue, basically. That basically could have. Got Davina sacked. This episode is just so shit. I can't even. I'm sat here thinking, you know, the whole why would Davina even go inside his house, knowing full well he's gone to the full extent of basically saying she groomed his son, and now she's gone inside his house. Rachel's being blackmailed. Tom can't make his mind up. Now they're just friends, taking it easy. And Mika and Brett are back on the same page. It's just. It was what it, it just felt like one of those episodes where I was just watching scenes go by and I was just like, this is cringe. Oh, what's he going to say? Oh, that's going to, oh, you know, I was just like, it never had any fluidity to it. It never, it didn't have a storyline I was actually intrigued by. I think because Davina is such a poor character, because Darren's a random character that's been brought in and it's a storyline they tried to force to possibly put Tom and Davina together. Rachel. He's trying to balance way too many things. You know, she interfered with Eddie. She's been dealing with Bolton. She's dealing with this. Uh, I think it's they've given Rachel way too many storylines, whereas Jack would have storylines here and there, and it would work better. I think I think Jack was definitely a better head, head, uh, head of the school. I think Rachel, they just... I don't know. I don't know. I'm very intrigued by Rachel's storyline, but I'm more... Hopefully it has a good outcome. Because if this doesn't have a good outcome, then you're sort of going, so why did we put all this blackmail and stuff in there? You know, when's she going to open up to Eddie? Yeah, it's a very, um, it was a very mid-episode, to put it to put it, um, 
uh, blunt with you. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. It was an okay episode. Be sure to check it out for yourself. Episode 13 tomorrow, ending with episode 15 on Friday, of course. We'll be here on the weekend, hopefully, and then going into the last three episodes. Last three episodes next week. So stick around for that. Subscribe, like as always. And until next time, goodbye. Thank you.